This is for Johns Hopkins. Welcome. I'm going to get straight to the point because there is one essay, but I really want to give you all of the different avenues that you can kind of write from. This is Write Your Acceptance. I'm Dr. Josie. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe, please, and we'll get started. The prompt is very interesting for Johns Hopkins because it allows you so much freedom to pick kind of the avenue, the lane that you're going to do. But if you are smart, you pick one lane and you kind of bridge a few and I'll get I'll get to what I mean. Hi, my name is Dr. Josie. I work with students for so many years now, and so many of you have created and helped me build this community. We're at 3,000 subscribers, woo! And I'm so happy and proud about that. So please, if you have any comments, if you have any questions, definitely link them down um, below. I love to kind of give you guys my two cents whenever I can. All right, so here's the prompt for Johns Hopkins. Founded in the spirit of exploration and discovery, Johns Hopkins University encourages students to share their perspectives, develop their interests, and pursue new experiences. Use this space to share something you'd like the admissions committee to know about you, your interests, your background, your identity, or your community. That's gonna be super important. And how it has shaped what you want to get out of your college experience at Hopkins. And so this is 300 to 400 words. 300 to 400 words, you have kind of some space to flex your storytelling and critical thinking muscles. And that's the balance that um, I always tell students you kind of want to hit. So here's the freedom, right? That parentheses, we want to break down because that's kind of all the different avenues that you have. So you can talk about your interests, your background, your identity, or your community. And then, which is what so many students miss, is at the end, how has it shaped what you want to get out of Johns Hopkins, right? So of your college experience. So really kind of link it to why Hopkins in a way. So interest, background, identity, community. Here are the options or kind of some feedback that you can think about with regards to any one of those calls your name. Honestly, no matter which one you answer, as long as you kind of bridge a couple of themes, that's great. Okay, so for interests, this is kind of your run of the mill extracurricular activity, right? But you wanna plunge yourself in the action of the story. So describe the yoga class that you go into religiously, not the class in general, but like the moves that you're getting into and the sweat bead kind of dripping down, right? And then go into kind of why it has taught you valuable lessons and what those lessons are, right? One of my favorites from a couple years ago was a student who did like a walking photography group. And so they would take pictures as they would kind of walk around their community. It was by the bay and it was beautiful. She engaged with people that were way older than her, younger than her. I um, mean, it was just like this very diverse, beautifully kind of enriching experience. So that kind of merged community interest and kind of the pictures that she would take. And so she started actually narrating a couple of stills that she took kind of went in a little to identity. So you can see if you pick one of the buckets and you do it thoughtfully, you can probably merge a few. The next one is background or identity. I actually think about these together. You can kind of completely do them separately, but the ones that I've reviewed in the past, for the most part, kind of combine them. First, I guess with all of them, right, you wanna kind of consider your application holistically. So you wanna think about what you wrote in your common application essay. What did you write about? You don't wanna recycle anything from that. You always wanna give each school new information. Now, if you wrote an extracurricular supplement for Michigan and you're writing an extracurricular supplement here and you, recycle some of that content for the other school, great, as long as you make sure you retool it and you make it a Hopkins essay. But you don't wanna borrow, like you wanna give all of the different essays and all the different kind of content to each school, new material always. So don't borrow two sentences from your Common App essay and use that here. So if you wrote about the walking group photography club, then don't write about that here in this essay. Write about something else. Show them another aspect of who you are and why you're so awesome. So if you wrote a lot about your identity and your cultural background in the main essay, maybe this is not the one for you, but if you didn't, this is a good way of kind of showing that kind of a diversity aspect. If you're not a minority student, and I get this all the time, then how do I show diversity? I'm not diverse. There are ways in which you can show diversity of thought and diversity of perspective, right? And so I have a, a video on diversity and how kind of different ways that you can show kind of diverse thinking and perspectives. And so I'll link that above so that you can have kind of some more material and guidance to focus on if, if that's kind of a theme that you want to hit. Um, do you have an idea for an essay? If you do, definitely comment below. I'd love to help you guys out and give you my two cents when you ask for it. So I end up with community. Notice how the examples that I mentioned previously all kind of bridge that community um, or kind of drive into the community lane, right? 
really, if you are writing about interests in extracurricular or identity, you kind of bridge this whole community, but you want to make sure that you spin the language to show you as an agent for bringing people together, as an agent for kind of thoughtful reflection about how people do build belonging and community. And if you want to do a straight up community essay with like, you know, an extracurricular activity, I've seen a students volunteer, like write about volunteering at an elderly facility. A student put together a spike ball tournament. It wasn't actually for this supplement, but I've seen that essay and that would work great here because they talked about kind of like the fundraising efforts. They talked about like all the different brackets that they that they kind of put together. And it really showed just like how students from all sorts of schools, all different schools in the broader city came together for this one cause. And that was really a beautiful kind of accomplishment. This video is short and sweet. I wanted to give you the rundown on John Hopkins, which I kind of did. So um, if you found this helpful, please give us a like, please comment below, helpful, thank you, or a question, I'd love to help you out. And I'll see you guys soon. Thank you, bye.